I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, I'm reporting from the National Cannabis Industries Association in San Jose, California, a big switch from my usual reporting in Times Square, New York. The big news this week was that the FDA sent a warning letter to Cureleaf saying that the company was making unsubstantiated claims on their CBD product labels. They gave them 15 days to fix the situation. In the meantime, CVS has decided to pull all the Cureleaf products from their shelves. They just put this stuff out four months ago, so that relationship clearly has soured. Cureleaf stock really took a beating on this. In one day, they went from a little bit over $8 a share to under seven. They've recovered a little bit, but that was a big hit that that stock took. Sundial Growers is an early stage Canadian cannabis producer. They announced the terms of their upcoming IPO. They're hoping to raise $130 million. They're offering 10 million shares between the price of $12 and $14 a share. Amplify ETF announced the launch of the Amplify Seymour Cannabis ETF. It's going to be an actively managed ETF covering the cannabis industry. And the portfolio manager is Tim Seymour, who is the CIO of Seymour Asset Management. And also, you know him from CNBC. The Flower Corp was originally going to sell some shares on the NASDAQ last week. They shelved that deal and instead on Monday they announced a bought deal that was selling 10 million units at a price of 410 per share. That's Canadian dollars. They're hoping to raise 43 million in that proceeds. And then CanTrust stock took another beating. It turns out that those companies' uh, top executives were very well aware of the growing happening in the rooms that did not have licenses. As you know, this has been blowing up on them in the last uh, couple of weeks. It turned out when they looked at the emails that these executives, and of course these executives knew that there were plants growing in these rooms. Well, that sent the top stock down again. It lost another 20%. And those are the big news items this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.